sorry, grandma, don't text me right now. Welcome back. I'm Alex and you're watching the UCAP, the no cap recap of this week at the UBC. Last weekend was Thanksgiving and you might have been in a turkey coma. So let's take a look back at everything you may have missed at the UBC this week. In news, Santa Ono has announced an extra 500,000 in funding for food initiatives last month, but how this money will be spent exactly is unclear. Contributor Deacon Sowerby has the update on food security on campus. In culture, climate activists of all ages gathered in front of the Vancouver Art Gallery on September 23rd. Contributor Elena Massing spoke with this new group of climate activists to learn about rebuilding solidarity after social distancing. In Rec, sports and Rec editor Miriam Chilabilar spent the day with the organizers of the Day of the Longboat and provides you with the splashy behind the scenes of UBC Recreation's annual event. Finally, in Blog, our satire column contributor Jocelyn Baker runs through 53 easy steps to survive a 10 minute conversation with the philosophy minor. That's everything you may have missed at the UBC this week. Our latest issue dropped just yesterday, so pick up a copy all around campus or click the link in the description to check out all our articles online. See you next week.